Hey Video Diary. So I'm here in Cold Spring on a little getaway. Seeing my family for our non-Christmas this year. Um, a few inches away from me is a dish of fresh sardines, which my mother <laughs> cut the heads off of fresh sardines and scaled them and battered them and fried them for me and left them here. Yeah. And that's totally, you know, a kind of food that is like I'm connected with on a some meta level. My children had the personalities they have now from the time they were born. That's a weird thing. I, I, I don't know how else to say it. They seem to come into this world informed by who they were and just trying to catch up neurologically. <sighs> I don't know. But I will tell you that experiencing a death like this makes me very clear about the importance of not wasting one's life, the time that one does have. If you put off dealing with the things that are holding you back and restricting you, you may not get to deal with them and experience what life is like without being encumbered, chained, tied down to, you know, too much body weight, bad habits, drugs. I guess what I'm saying is it's better to be healthy because then at least you can arrive at everything, you know, the best foot forward. You're not battling too many layers, overlapping layers of complexity that are placed there by you and your lack of resolve. It's all it is, man. Just your lack of resolve. You want something? Do it. Baby steps. I tried to foster honest conversation with Forrest about drug use and be honest with him. You know, with the idea that he would be honest with me and we would never be where we are right now. Ultimately, because my son isn't here, I feel like I have failed. that I somehow did not protect him and make him wise enough we're all so bummed out because of all the things that he could have been all the things he he already was
my mother taught me how to be a good person. It was really her. If anything, she maybe was sometimes too afraid of, of risks that I wanted to take. But I know now that it's because she wanted me to survive. You know, she didn't care about the risks. She cared about not understanding the delicate nature of survival. And that you had to have plans and skills, ideas that made sense. I'm going to eat this incredible food and I'm going to miss my son. It's one of the things that we shared, that we love so much. Can't taste without taste buds, or see without eyes, or hear without ears. And it just kind of follows that you can't really experience anything outside of this phenomena we call life and that you do not have unlimited time and also that the quality of the time that we all live is very much contingent upon how we live it. I just drove by the golf course. It was like a driving range that Forrest like was was going up there because there was a beautiful young girl and he loved to he was really enjoying the golfing range. I just drove by it. There's nothing right about what this is. And that's one of the things I really resist insights that try to find some deeper meaning when there really isn't any.